Hi, this is Cooking Mama. Today I'll be doing sayo lode. The ingredients used are dried chilli. You have to soak them with hot water and remove the seed. Three cloves of garlic. Um, 100 grams of shallot. A thumb size of ginger. A stick of sarai, which uh, the upper part I've sliced it to grind together with the rest. And also three pieces of candle nut. Uh, what's missing here is galangal, which uh, we couldn't find in the supermarket. So I've actually put in more ginger than uh, to substitute for the galangal. Galangal is actually the blue ginger. Okay, I'll go grind it first. This is how the paste looks like now. I've added a teaspoon of lachan into the mix as well. Hi, for sayo lodi, I'll be using the local cabbage, long beans and carrot. Uh, the local cabbage is preferred over the Beijing cabbage because it is uh, it lasts longer when you boil uh, whereas the others would kind of melt too quickly. You could also add on brinjal if you like. Okay, let's begin. In addition, I will be adding bay leaves and down purur which is lime leaves. Uh, to add a depth into the sayur lodi. Let's begin. Usually, I prefer to use non-stick pan. Uh, unfortunately, today my non-stick pan is uh, being used by some other dishes. I'll be using a whole packet of the coconut cream and uh, a packet of the chicken stock. I'll be adding in the hardest one first, which is the beans. And also the sarai.
tablespoon of uh, ground dried shrimps. Note that I should have fried the dried shrimps, which I forgot, and uh, together with the paste, it would have been better. But it's okay, we just add in there. Right? in the cabbage and let it boil further. When the cabbage is more cooked, you have to taste the gravy again because the liquid that comes out from the vegetable usually dilutes the taste. The vegetables are now well settled and I've tasted it. Um, the one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of sugar work perfectly well. 